Hi there, Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. We're actually talking about uh, installing Windows 10 on this new PC built that I actually built a little while back. Um, if you look, click on the top right and corner of your screen, you can go back to the videos of the, the build we did um, on there. I'll put a link up there for you guys. So we're going to install Windows 10 on a fresh new built PC. This do has three hard drives in there. One is the SSD and the other two are Samsung drives. The two Samsung drives are 2 gig. They're a mirrored pair, which I set up before, which holds all my data on. So we're not going to, we're going to ignore that. So we're just going to do install and we're going to select to install it on the SD hard drive. Right, we're now select, we'll select the um, Lexmark USB flash drive and we'll hit enter. And launch your memory stick in your USB drive. It should have boot in. There's various buttons you can press to select the boot from um, the boot. So it's on my one's F12. And uh, now we've got Windows 10. So there's a point, no point in installing 32 bit. We're installing 64 bit because it's a 64 bit motherboard. If you've got a 32 bit motherboard, then obviously you saw 32 bit. Comes with two versions of Windows on here. So we now click enter. And that's to load all the various files for Windows. Very straightforward, this Windows install setup. So we'll just take you through um, a, a bit a slowly at a time. So loading all the files to the setup. Shouldn't take too long. Depends how fast your PC is, or depends on what size CPU you put in there, how fast this runs as well. And we're using a, a USB, um, USB 3 memory stick, so it should be pretty quick installing the software. Now we get the boot screen, so we select English. Pretty good at um, selecting and knowing which language you're on as well. So we've got all the right languages here. So now we'll click on the next button to proceed. Now click on the install button. And let's set up now. It will start start doing its bits and pieces in the background. Very straightforward and very easy. Right, if you have an install key, you can actually install it here. But it doesn't really matter if you haven't got an installation key. Windows uh, comes allows you to sort of install it without a Windows key, and it locks certain things down. But you can actually run Windows for a very long time without an installation key before you actually provide it. So on here, we we'll click on um, skip. So we'll click on accept license agreement, click next. From this point on here, I just want to do a full install. So I would choose, I click on the custom install for Windows only. Never do an upgrade, upgrade is always pants, never works. I've been around since Windows 3.11, all the way up through all the Windows up till now to Windows 10. If I always find upgrades, a pain in the backside and can cause lots of problems because it doesn't actually upgrade properly. It still keeps old Windows uh, drivers loaded and library files loaded and still tries to make things compatible. It's just a complete nightmare. Slows things down and leaves unwanted files on your system and it's very hard to tell whether what files are needed or don't delete. It's not a very clean install. So I always choose the custom install for Windows and I'll do a complete format of the hard drive and so it's nice and clean from scratch. So we'll click on the custom install Windows only Now this part here, we've got um, lots of partitions. Two of the partitions are part of my mirror partition, which I'm going to keep them as they are. And what I'm going to do is delete drive two, partition one, drive and drive two, partition two. They're my SSD drives. So remove those off. That's very straightforward. Just highlight the one you want, click on delete, click OK, and it's deleted. Give it a bit of time. Then click on the same one, drive two, partition one, delete, click OK. And then now drive. When it should now it should now show drive two on okay space showing just under five hundred gigs. So we select that, we click next, and Windows will work out what partitions it needs on that drive. Very straightforward. So you don't need to know too much about drive partitioning and things like that. Let I always let Windows do it. Keep things simple. If you've got a bigger hard drive on there, then I'll see. Then you can then um, look at. Uh, partition them into two partitions, keeping one around right about 500 gigs on the on the OS, always best, especially if you've got Windows updates happening all the time, to so make sure there's always a very large amount of disk space there, and then the rest of them remaining in the D drive. But in this case, because I've got the mirror disk already installed, I have that for my additional data, so I'm just going to leave the whole drive as sort of for the OS. 
So we're gonna get Windows install now. I'm gonna probably speed this process up so we get a rough idea on this particular spec um, PC that I built, see how fast it gets. So when we do future updates, we can compare the installed Windows 10 with a newer hard drive or, or with a newer, more memory or more CPU to see if there's any difference on how Windows installs, if it's faster or slow machine. So we'll, we'll keep this compare. So I'm gonna speed this up and uh, we're gonna get on and see how long this this is. We'll go with six. It's written down on the website as well. The details are below on the full install of this as well. So let's speed this up. Okay, and this, now we need to install the installation key. If you do not have it, it doesn't matter. You can always install this later. It gives you two more options to install, install the installation key through the install. Anyway, we'll show you that and how to do it. So for now, we click on uh, do this later. And then, uh, this settings here, I always tend to choose the express settings. Keep it really simple. So uh, use uh, use express settings. And we now allow Windows to install. So now here we can um, create a Microsoft account or we can skip it. So for the moment of this tutorial, we'll click on skip um, the setup. And now we can actually enter in a username and password to log in as standard. So, so we don't want to sign to an email address. We'll now set up a, a one we call, call it support. We can add passwords at this point, but to get this really simple, we're going to leave it without a password. But for you guys that want to put a password on it, it's quite straightforward. Enter the password you want to use. Re-enter it again, and also remember to do a hit a hint just in case you forget what the password may be. So that could be anything in there, a sentence or, or a saying that's going to remind you. Once you've done that, we can now click on next. This next part, so just let Windows do it. Stores, it stores lots of apps in the background. It can take um, a while to do. It can take it three, four minutes, or it could be quite quick, depending on the processor speed you're running on your PC at a time. So we we'll let this go through on its own, and and it should be then ready to be Windows for you to use. It's nice and simple, easy install. That's Windows installed, Windows 10. So on this part here, you'll get prompts up saying network. So you, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable, discoverable by other PCs or devices on your network? So if you want to keep it nice and secure, hidden away off from everybody else, click on um, uh, no. If you want to share um, share your folders on here with other PCs around the house or at, or, or at the office, then click on yes, simple as that. Remember from before we had a, a, a a mirror drive volume already on this system so we'll just check to see if that's actually shown up in the drive bay so we'll quick look at that so that's um, the memory stick key we can take that we can remove that now and we click on my this PC and there we go we've got C drive the SSD drive itself with the OS on it and then D volume which is all intact mirror disk all my files on there intact and, and secure nicely done. So if you want to carry on watching um, more of these tutorials, please hit that subscribe button, remember to comment below, and uh, remember thumbs up, and any questions on this uh, install of Windows 10 you have, please um, comment below, and we'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.